What's going on guys? I've got here a 2009 Chevy Silverado and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the multiple fuses for the operation of your power door locks and also your keyless entry. So everything is gonna be behind this cover here, which we remove by pulling at the bottom. And I do wanna stress, depending on whether or not your Silverado is a crew cab or not, or what trim level you have, that might influence whether or not the particular fuses are used. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you all of them. So on the back of the cover, we can find a fuse puller as well as some spare fuses. I'm gonna start by identifying the fuse for the keyless entry. So that fuse is actually fuse number 25, which is this red 10 amp fuse right here at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out here. And as you can see, that is what a good fuse looks like. Now there are some other fuses that are used for various modules. So that's gonna be fuse number four, or sorry, fuse seven right here, as well as nine. So check those out. There are also some fuses uh, that only receive power when the doors are actively locking or unlocking. That's gonna be these two fuses here and here, as well as these two fuses that are missing on this particular car. You'll also want to check this 15 amp fuse right here, as well as this 15 amp fuse here. So yeah, I hope this information was a good starting point for you in troubleshooting the door locks on your Silverado. One other troubleshooting step I can think to mention, you know, these door lock actuators as well as the switches, they receive power through a wiring harness through here. And every time you open and close a door, you're flexing all of the wires that come through here. And sometimes they can break. So one thing I try to do is I'll put the door at different positions and then see if the switch responds. If I can hold the door at a certain position at which the switch starts to work, then that's a pretty good indication that I may have an issue with the broken wire in here. So yeah, thanks for watching.